Okay, so we you start. What is an animatic? You can come on, you can, you can do that, can you? You can explain what an animatic is. What an animatic is? Um, I have no idea. An animatic is a very... It's, it's a great tool to check if something works. Uh, I mean, and a storyboard doesn't have any timing. I mean, it's, it's just a drawing. I mean, how long does this drawing, this frame, has to be? An, an animatic, you can, you, can, you can work with the timing, you make it, can, can make it uh, shorter, you can make it uh, longer, and if it works in the animatic, then you've made a very, you made a big step. There's, here are a few of our uh, storyboard images. We have a couple of, I don't know, 300, 400, I don't know, something like that. So, um, Let's say if I want to import mm, multiple uh, images, these for example, enter. Now I have one strip. I want to, if I want to separate the strips, then I just have to press the Y button. And in this case, I would like them to be 30 frames. Okay. Now I have all my images separated. I can, I can try to play it, see if that works. No, not working, it's going too slow. So I need to work on the timing. Um, to do this, I have a, a few magic buttons you really need. That's the A button, if I have only this strip selected, I can deselect it with the A button and if I select it again, uh, if I press the A button again, I have everything selected. And the E button is for extending and with the E button I can make certain uh, strips longer, shorter. And it's also very important where, you, where your cursor is. If I have the cursor on the left of the, the, the current uh, time frame, it goes this way. If I have it on the right side, I press E, it goes this way. G for grab. Uh, if I hold down the control, I can snap it. If I want, I can snap it to here. Or if I want to, I can snap it to here. But now I want it. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's see if that works better now. That's still going a bit slow at the end, so I need to make that a bit faster. This one could be a little bit shorter. Uh, it still needs a little bit of work, but you know, this is the basic. So. When something doesn't work in the animatic, then um, first you will try to make it work with a different timing. Maybe maybe it's the timing that's that's not correct. But you know, at some point, you know, you you, you have to stop playing with the timing, and it's something else. Then you have to change bigger things. Eh? Is it maybe a, a camera angle that's that's wrong, or is it an entire scene that needs to be removed? Uh, is it an, a joke that just doesn't work. Um, is it uh, a situation that it's like too complicated for people to understand? I mean, maybe we understand something. Uh, maybe we can laugh at a certain joke, or maybe we understand a chaotic scene. But if somebody who has no knowledge of the movie whatsoever just doesn't understand it or doesn't get it at all with the animatic then yeah we have to consider of 
changing it or even remove it. And here I have the option enable stamp and there are different kind of things you can uh, you can show in your your frame when you render it. So I have uh, this, this the name of the the, the sequence strip, uh, the time, the dates, the camera if you want to, the scene and all kinds of stuff. Uh, okay, just I'll just render it. Let's see what okay. Of course you don't you don't see anything because it's like a black it's it's the end of the movie, but we have here time eight minutes twenty uh, seconds, and uh, so that's at this moment that's the the length of our movie without the credits, by the way. So in the end, the movie will be around I don't know between nine and twelve minutes or something. Yeah, yeah these are like all the shots as meta strips um, because later we will go back to the animatic and we will place um, OpenGL uh, uh, renders uh, uh, the final uh, animations we will put it in this animatic and we will replace these shots with you know all the new stuff uh, we will later later we will also put uh, sounds and uh, other stuff in it, and slowly this you know this, the movie will starts to look more finished step by step. Okay, forget that. This, I'm just talking nonsense. <laughs> okay, some other thing that's new that's the markers. So you can rename them. You can. Uh, you can move them, also very important. These markers are for the different for the different scenes. Now I can see exactly where scene 13 starts, and that's right here. So very important. When you want to change some of the some of the timing, make sure that you have your uh, marker selected, like so, and I select all the meta strips, I press E and as you can see the markers will go with the, the meta strips so you don't have to worry about the, that. Actually you're never you're never done with the animatic and every time you think you're ready with the animatic then somebody like for example Tom says, hey, there's some continuity problem there. The character has to walk in a slight angle and so we have to go back to the animatic and make it work in the animatic. And okay, so in a way it's 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 never done. Um, we have weeklies. Uh, Almost every weekly we have people coming over, um, surprise guests, um, uh, sponsors, uh, Tom's friends, and you know we show the people what we made so far. Um, for example, the animatic, and pe people can give their uh, their feedback, uh, uh, their ideas, what they think of it, and. So yeah, and sometimes it's like very very good feedback. So we go and we go back to the animatic and change, you know, to make it even even better. Again, that's that's what happens with the animatic. You you know you just you make it, then you you look at it, you review it, you let other people uh, watch it, and then you go back and make it better again. Yeah, call that done. Yeah, done. Who's gonna edit it? Uh. <laughs>